Okay, Media Arts Warriors, this is Mr. Drews, and today we are going to make a geometric, uh, abstract, geometric, looping, animated GIF uh, in Pixel using uh, pixel art. So here's the front page of Pixel, and right down here, there's two Stormtrooper sandwiched in, but on either side of it, there's these two really cool um, pattern designs. Um, these are six example ones you can look at and see how they have the whole thing laid out. It's pretty cool. This one has a lot, about 23 layers, but it's a, it's a pretty simple pattern, and the, this, this particular pattern uh, stays the same for the whole thing, which is something you can do. You can actually take something and repeat it a whole bunch of times and keep adding these colors. Um, if we go into my gallery, I've got a few in here that I've done. It's a little simple one like that. And then if you hover over this one, I went a little more crazier with here. And then I've got a couple of others like simple like that. And I added kind of like more little digital stuff like that and some other crazy little example like that. So we're going we're gonna to create one. We're going to create a new sprite. And um, you want to start with some sort of basic geometric symmetrical pattern. And right here is the vertical mirror pen tool. If you click right now on it, automatically do it on the other side. What's also cool is if you hold shift it'll do it on both sides. What? Pretty freaking cool. I'm holding shift down right now. And if you just want to do the horizontal, you can hold just command. So that'll just do a horizontal axis. So um, we're going to make a new one just so you can yeah, we'll leave page. So let's start with a brand new one. Now remember, we, you can switch up your pen sizes right here. So maybe you want to go big. And another thing I like to do, just to kind of help with the math and uh, like figuring out what it is that you want, this is currently a 32 by 32 pixel square. If you click, let's click once here, boom, and you hit this little button here, it'll toggle a grid. It'll allow you to see how many pixels are inside that. So. Uh, this was a 4x4, four four. and if you want an individual one, it looks like this. This is really helpful. That, that grid's not going to be there. Like, it's gonna, it's just a visible thing for that. If you want to take get rid of it, you can tackle it this way. But I like having that. It helps me kind of lay things out. Um, so let's put together a little, a little design here. Let's make something a little bigger here. And I'll start with black. You can start with whatever color you want. I'm just going to basically make a matrix of this thing. Okay, that's a weird little design. Let's add some color. So one thing you may want to do first is clone this a couple times. I want you to use a minimum of six colors. You can use up to eight. Uh, so let's duplicate this a few times. Another thing is, is uh, where you want that color to go. So for this first one, you can do this and paint all the pixels the same color. We'll just do with a crazy red of some sort. Boom. So the reason it's flashing over here is because it's already trying to animate all these frames. So one thing you may want to consider doing is dropping this down to zero right now, just so you can see. Um, and let's do this. Let's make the whole thing red and black. We'll make another one. And this might be a good time to toggle the grid off, just so you can kind of see it. Um, and we will, let's start adding some pixels. We'll add, we'll do orange. We'll just do like a rainbow gridness. Dupe, 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 dupe. Let's make, duplicate that one. Let's make all these areas orange. Should we go this one? Yeah, let's go that far. Boop, 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 boop. 
make a new yellow. Yellow on this one. Each one of your colors starts showing up over here. We'll duplicate that. We'll make all that yellow. Go back to here, make this all orange. Mm -mm -mm. Make the inside of this sucker green. Duplicate that one. Do all the yellow green. Another helpful thing you could just do this. Get all that at once. Take your new color. I'll do a light blue. Switched back. That way it keeps this this way. Um, then we want all the yellow. We want. Orange, we want yellow. Boop. All of the red, we want orange. Boom. All the red should be gone now. And so we've got to now get us back to the beginning. So, what we will do is Take that red, fill it all right there. Take the yellow. Actually, let's do this. Let's do all the green. All the green blue. All the yellow green. All the orange yellow. Duplicate this one. We're going to, we want the whole thing to be red by the end. So now we're going to do all the blue red, all the green blue, all the yellow green, duplicate it, all the blue red, all the green blue. Then duplicate it again, fill all the red. Blue. Now you got nine frames of six colors. Let's check the frame rate. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go a little faster. That looks pretty smooth. Let's go a little faster. I think I wanted 12. We'll make it 12 frame rates per second. And that's a cool little trippy design. You can adjust this to however you want. You can make this as complicated as you want. You could do tiny, big pixels, go small. You could even come in here now and add another layer to this by adding uh, you know, different colors in different spots. You can you know, use as much time as you can. You've got two days to kind of put this together. So um, you, know, you can make a bigger canvas too if you want. Uh, but um, this is basically all I want you to be able to do is make a simple, you know, the, the, your frames are gonna depend on how many layers and how many how complicated you're gonna make this thing right now. I got nine frames on this. Uh, to export this, you're just going to go to export. Make sure it's a GIF, download as a GIF. Call it, oh, it's called new pixel right now, but we'll hit okay. But don't forget to also save it to your gallery. We'll call this design example. Save in my gallery. So that way it shows up in your gallery, and if you have to leave midway through, you can come back and work on it in your gallery. It comes right here. So it's right here. So if I hover on it, it'll show right here. You can also clone it if you want to go in and add more stuff and not worry about messing with this one. Uh, it's another helpful thing that you can do. But this really shouldn't take you, you know, maybe take you one class period of 30 minutes or so to put this thing together. And, uh, you know, so experiment. Try to be creative. Make something cool. And, um... Come back tomorrow, we'll start working on uh, 
making some objects out of me. Cool.